We're going to be putting a new wick in an oil lamp today and I'll show you how to do that. Then we're going to talk about a little bit about trimming the wick and I'm going to show you a couple different oil lamps and uh, hurricane lamps. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the chimney off there or the globe and set it aside and carefully undo this. The reason I said careful is because I just filled this up and I do not want lamp oil spilled all over the place. There we go. We're going to go ahead and set that aside so we don't have any misfortunes. Now wicks, they usually come in packages from either three to five. You can buy them just about any grocery store or big outlet store. And the first thing you're thinking, well, that wick is very long. Should I trim that in half? No, you're going to leave that exactly the way it is because it just buys you a little bit more time on the wick. The easiest thing to do, I found, is we're going to feed it up to the bottom. And we're just going to simply take that, put it in the hole, and then we're going to start turning this until we just, oh, that's pretty much how it goes. Start turning that until the wick shoots out the top. And, it's a lot easier than you think it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and carefully set it back into the base. And let that wick start soaking up the lamp for the lamp oil. And it takes a little bit of time for it to fully do this. Now you see how this is all frayed at the top? When you light that, that's going to make an un clean flame and make it burn very inefficient. So let's demonstrate that. We're going to go ahead and fire that up. Now that's just an ugly flame. Let's go put the chimney on there. Couple things, it's real uneven. And it's just burning real inefficient. So we're going to trim that wick up and make it look a lot better. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to put this out. I'm going to turn it down a little bit and blow in the chimney. Now, if these have been running for a little bit, the uh, glass does tend to get a little warm, so you want to be careful with that. Okay, we're going to get a fairly sharp pair of scissors. And I'm going to come set up just a little bit more. I'm going to come across the top and we're going to square it off there. Then the next thing we do is two ways. You can either do a rounded wick or we can just do a just cut a 45 degree angle on the sides I think yeah we'll do a 45 on this wick here repeat the same action on the other side it's a little there we go try to make it even as possible and don't worry you just trim it down like that Yeah, still a little uneven. Let's even that out just a little bit more. There we go. And I'm not happy with that totally. A little bit. There. Oh, that looks real really good. And we're going to get the little fuzzies off there. Let's relight it and see what we got. Oh, that's, that's going to be good. See how that flame is right there? There's a nice little curve and arc to it. Let's go ahead and put the globe back on. See how bright that is and more efficient? Got a great looking little crown. Now you can experiment with each one of the uh, wicks and decide which way you want to trim it for yourself. I like the uh, 45 degree angle or the uh, rounded edge. It makes just a much better flame in there and burns more efficient. Now you can get this a little bit too high. If you run this up there and you got your flame this bright, you can crack the glass mantle and possibly have a fire. So you want to be real careful when you do that. I find right about there is great. 
Now let's talk a little bit about lamp oil. You can pick it up just any store anywhere in the world. Uh, it's fairly reasonable. You get them in these little containers or the big ones. Now in an emergency situation, you can use kerosene. Uh, it burns a little more inefficient and it does smell, so you're going to want to crack the windows in your uh, cabin or house when you're using it. I've got another couple of lamps I want to show you. This here you can find in your general camping section. They say it's an indoor and outdoor use, but I found they leak and they leak really bad. For some reason, I guess they're cheaply made. If you overfill it, it leaks right out of the fill spout. But these are really easy to light. I use them when I go camping, but since the invention of the LED, <laughs> it's been a while. But they're fun to have. You keep, I keep one out in the outhouse over there. Kind of helps out. But basically to light these, you just lift it up, and stick your lighter on there and, and light it up. There's no problem there. But they're not bad, but I don't suggest using these inside your house just because of the leak problem. And you really don't want uh, lamp oil fluid all over your floor. This is my pride and joy. I took this out of circulation many years ago. Uh, this is passed down from my great great grandfather. This is a uh, train yard lantern they used to use all the time. And I definitely don't use this in the house because it does burn kerosene in it and it does stink. But this is heavily duty made. You can take a look at this globe, how thick that glass is. They don't make them like this anymore. And I'm pretty sure it's probably worth a little bit of money. But there you go. If you ever wanted to know, that's how you put a new wick in your oil lamp. And as always, Thanks for watching.